Welcome to LeveragePoint On-Demand Training. In this installment, we will cover the fifth value modeling tab, Negative Value Drivers. This video is part of a series introducing LeveragePoint users to value modeling. If you have not watched the videos that precede this one, I recommend that you do so. Negative value drivers describe your offering's specific unfavorable economic impact on the customer versus the competitive alternative. You may think of them as the polar opposite of the positive value drivers we covered in the previous chapters. Negative value drivers come in two flavors. First, as an additional cost for using your solution. So, for example, say the customer needs to purchase a new machine in order to use your product. And this cost isn't required for the competitor. In that case, it's clearly a negative value driver that you should include. Now one question that comes up about this is whether or not to include these additional costs as price components on tab 2 instead of adding them as negative value drivers on tab 5. My advice is as follows. Include the costs as a price component if it is part of your proposal or invoice. For all the costs, enter as a negative value driver. The second flavor of negative value driver is when the competitive alternative has positive differential features that provide unique customer benefits which deliver economic value that your offering lack. In other words, your competitor's positive value driver is your negative value driver. Let's take a look at the negative value drivers tab in a value model. There are no negative value drivers in the training model that we have been using, so this is a model for a new fictitious company, Tradecom, and their offering is trading compliance software for stockbrokers. First thing to point out is that there are two sections that correspond to the two flavors of negative value drivers. The top part, labeled Additional Costs versus Next Best Competitive Alternative, or NBCA. Simply click Add Custom to create a new formula, just like we demonstrated in the previous chapters. The bottom section, labeled Value Driver Shortfalls versus NBCA, or Next Best Competitive Alternative, is actually a summarized version of tab 3 and 4 but from the competitor's perspective. So here, you can actually brainstorm and link the features and benefits to value drivers exactly as we have done before. Here we see one negative value driver has been added. Let's open training costs to see the calculation. Note that this is an annual cost and therefore has year as the unit of measure. Regardless of whether this negative value driver is entered under value drivers or in the top section, additional costs, when I move to the next tab, they will appear in the same place in the value model chart above and in the list of negative value drivers below. We'll talk about the summary tab in our next chapter. This concludes negative value drivers.